Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 35th question from CBSE class 10, 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section D where each question is of 5 marks. Now this question is from the quadratic equations chapter. A flight left 30 minutes later than the scheduled time and in order to reach its destination 1500 kilometers away in time, it has to increase its speed by 250 km per hour from its usual speed. Find its usual speed. So let us try to understand the question first. A flight was scheduled to be flying at a particular time and it got late by 30 minutes. So to compensate those 30 minutes of loss, it increases its speed by 250 km per hour than its usual speed. So for example, if it was moving with a speed of 500 km per hour, it increases it by 250, that is it has to travel now by 750 km per hour. So we have to find out what is its original speed. So let us try to write down the given details first. Starting with the distance to be travelled by the flight is given as 1500 km. Then let us consider that the usual speed or the regular speed of the flight is x km per hour. Now it increases the speed to reach the destination on time. So we write it as usual speed plus 250 km per hour. But the usual speed we considered as x. So the speed increased by the flight is x plus 250 km per hour. And the time delayed in flying is 30 minutes. Now let us try to write down the scheduled time and delayed time of the flight in terms of the distance travelled and the speed. So for this we are going to make use of the relationship between distance, time and speed which is time is equal to distance travelled over the speed. So for the scheduled flight or the usual flight the time is going to be distance travelled over the speed. So distance travelled is 1500 over the regular speed or the usual speed is x. Now let us look at the delayed flight. Now time of delayed flight is going to be, the distance is going to remain the same because the flight has to cover a distance of 1500 kilometers anyway. But the speed has been increased. So speed is x plus 250. Now let us try to frame an equation between the time differences of these two flights. Now the time differences between the scheduled flight and the delayed flight is given as time of usual flight minus the time of delayed flight. That is the time difference between these two circumstances is nothing but 30 minutes of difference. So the next step is just substituting the values of the time for both the cases as we have got over here. So let me write here, time of usual flight is 1500 over x minus time of delayed flight is 1500 over x plus 250 is equal to, now the 30 minutes has been converted into hours since we took the speed in terms of kilometers per hour. So we are going to write the 30 minutes as 30 over 60 hour. The next step is the cross multiplication. That is x plus 250 multiplies with 1500 and x multiplies with 1500. So we get here 1500x plus 1500 times 250 gives us 375,000 minus 1500 times x gives us minus 1500x divided by now the denominators will multiply together. Now on the right hand side the 30 divides the 60 that is 31 times and 32 times and that is what has been written over here. Now if you look at the left hand side plus 1500x and minus 1500x will cancel out each other. So we are left with only 375,000 in the numerator. So now again cross multiplying 2 multiplies with this number and the denominator x times x plus 250 multiplies with 1 and we get 375,000 multiplied by 2 is equal to x times x plus 250. Next, expanding the brackets we get x times x as x square plus x times 250 gives us 250x is equal to the product of these two numbers gives us 750,000. Now taking this number on the left hand side of the equation, we get a quadratic equation which is x square plus 250x minus 750,000 equal to 0. Now we have to factorize this equation by finding the factors of 750,000 which when added or subtracted together should give us the middle term which is 250. 
and looking at this number we can easily guess that those two factors are going to be 1000 and minus 750 because the product or the multiplication of these two numbers gives us minus 750,000 and the addition of these two numbers will give us 250x. So let us break up the 250x in terms of these two factors. So we have x square plus 250x is split up as 1000x minus 750x minus 750,000 equal to 0. Now further factorizing this, let us group the first two terms and the last two terms. So from the first two terms, x is a common term. And from the last two terms, minus 750 is a common term. So we write x times x plus 1000 minus 750 in the bracket x plus 1000 is equal to 0. Now x plus 1000 is a common term. So we are going to pull it out as a common factor. And x minus 750 becomes our second factor. And these two factors are equal to 0. Now let us independently equate both the factors to 0. So x plus 1000 is equal to 0 and x minus 750 is equal to 0. Now taking plus 1000 on the other side of the equal to sign, we get x equal to minus 1000. And taking minus 750 on the other side of equal to sign, we get x equal to 750. Now remember that x is the usual speed and speed cannot be considered as a negative number. So here the usual speed of the flight is going to be considered as 750 kilometers per hour. So this is the original speed of the flight. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.